Hey guys, it's Kim, it's Hey guys, it's Courtney with the Kitchen Garden, and um, it is the heat of summer. Um, I'm out here in the evening in the garden, and we are preparing to go out of town. So, um, what every gardener has to worry about when they're going out of town, and that's watering. So, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do to set up my garden area um, for what gardening areas I should say for um, watering while we're out of town. So, let's get started. Okay, so normally for watering, I rely on my garden grids um, by Garden in Minutes. I love those things. If, you, if you're looking for a really easy solution for watering, I highly recommend it. Um, here um, in the garden normally, I move the, I've got a snap in um, hose and I move that from uh, bed to bed as I need to water. It's really not a big deal um, and I love the snap in feature. I just don't have, my beds are far enough apart that I don't have them connected by a hose because I'd be tripping on it all the time. I have several beds connected and they get watered together, but um, I can't water everything at the same time with the current system I have. So when I go on vacation, I go a little old school and I use sprinklers. So sprinklers are uh, prim primarily what I use when I go on vacation. You know, it's totally fine. As my grandparents use, their garden always turned out great. So there's that. Okay, so what am I using to water my beds at the same time with sprinklers? I got um, an Orbit, see it right here, timer. Um, this is just one outlet. They do come with two, and I've got these linked below. Um, I came across these because I watched my, I went down to my parents' house, and if you know anything, if you've heard any, me talk about my parents, uh, my dad has a huge garden, and also uh, random pots of plants and um, things on the porch and stuff like that. So um, he had one of these um, and just the one outlet and he actually hooked the splitter up to the one outlet. So that's actually what I'm going to do. I have two hoses, um, one that runs out to the back row garden and one that will be here in the, um, the raised bed garden area. So I'm going to have sprinklers going to both of those uh, coming on at the same time in the morning. The morning is really the ideal time to water, especially if we're overhead watering, um, because that way any water that hits the leaves, which it's gonna do, whether it's rain or it's a sprinkler, um, it has a chance to dry up um, in the sun and, uh, and not sit on those leaves overnight. So ideally morning, but you know what? You do you and do what works best. So uh, let's set this timer up and get my garden ready for vacation. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is to go ahead and set the clock, okay? So you wanna set whatever time of day it is um, where you are. So let me come to set the clock. It is, this is where Cabin and Watch comes in super handy, 6.45 p.m. p.m., perfect, okay. The next, we wanna do the start time. So what time do I want it to start? So 6.45 now, I want it to start in the morning. So let's do that. Let's go for like 6 a.m. It's a reasonable morning time, right? But let's make sure we change that p.m. to a.m. So, so far it's just super simple, just click and turn. How long do I wanna water it for? I should not end a sentence in a preposition, y'all. If y'all don't know, I have a degree in English. <laughs> so, um, let's say that is way too much. <laughs> let's set it for 25 minutes and I'll gauge tomorrow morning. Um, so it's always great to have a test run uh, or so several test runs. Um, one to make sure you're getting the right amount of pressure, um, that you've got your faucet open enough, especially if you're running two hoses like I am, that I'm getting the right amount of pressure to feed both of those. And also, um, just to work out any kind of kinks, uh, is the sprinkler hitting all of the plants in my garden, that kind of thing. So that's how long, how often, every day. Y'all, it has been so hot here and there's no end in sight um, to the scorching. All right, let's see. Okay, so we wanna leave it here on auto manual, okay? And I didn't mention this at the beginning, but this does run on two AA batteries, so, uh, my parents were out of town for three weeks and um, my dad had no problems with him, with his, excuse me, 
uh, sprinkler running the whole time. So it's good to know that the batteries will last for a while. Okay. All right. So next thing I want to attach my splitter. So you can see it's kind of gritty from being out here, um, but it's got the open and closed pieces. Of course, they're both going to be open um, while I'm gone. And this one has a snap-in for the hose. I really love a snap-in hose. I'll link ours below. We use a Gardena. It's beautiful. It allows you to change hose, hose location or pop it into, you know, sprinklers or other watering systems or um, handheld waters without you know, without having to unscrew, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna attach this down here. Double check that the reds are going, it seems a little off. Let's make sure, we wanna make sure it's flush because we don't have time to be leaking, <laughs> to have water leaking everywhere. That's gonna be it, I think. Okay, you want it turned back around. Okay, all right. I think it's about ready. This end will go directly onto my faucet, so let me go ahead and get it set up. Okay, so this is under my potting bench, hence why I'm doing it, doing this by hand. So just attached it here, and this is totally fine out in the elements. Mine happens to be covered by the potting bench, um, but I already have my one hose attached sure that's really tight and then I'll attach my second hose right here so let's see how it goes okay guys so I'm out here at the row garden it's right behind the camera and I'm gonna be setting up an oscillating sprinkler that sits a bit higher this was actually adjustable and it can go even taller but I have some taller things out here um, like okra and I don't want the sprinkler hitting it from the bottom and stuff like that so it'll be fine it's got a standard port on there for a regular garden hose, but this is a garden hose that I have added the snap-in piece to the end of to make it a snap-in hose. So I'm just going to add this little attachment to the port and it'll make it compatible with my snap-in piece. Okay, so this, this type of sprinkler just sits down in the ground. So it's got this great little foot plate so you can push it right down into the soil and we should be good to go. Let's do it. Right in the center. There we go. So you got a lot of tomatoes ripening up. So if you're going out of town, it's so great to have somebody come check the garden for you. Okay, but to hook this up, you see I have made this hose. I've added this our gardena attachment to it. Um, and so, you know what, let me switch this around so that the port faces, there we go. So what, we don't have to have an angle to our hose. We should be able to just snap it right in. There we go. All set up and ready to go. Now, both of these are on the timer. The only thing I have left to do is turn on the water. And then at six o'clock in the morning, we should have watered gardens. I should say one extra tip as I'm walking back is just double check your hoses, especially if they're going for a distance, for kinks. Because it would be super sad <laughs> to have set all this up and to have a kink in your hose and that be preventing your garden from being watered. So I think we're good to go. Here we go. Let's turn it on. It shouldn't water until the morning, but I guess this would be a good test to see if it's working. I'm going to give it full flow because we've got two sprinklers with a long way to travel. Feel the sprinkler. So it hasn't, they haven't filled up yet, which means that it's stopping the water at um, the top and not letting it through. Okay, so. So we've got our garden way out there. And then this garden, we'll check it at six, see if it works. All right, guys, it's almost six. I just got home from exercising and we get to test to see. I'm gonna stand back a little bit to see if these are gonna kick on at six, like we set them for.
They definitely came on. I see the one in the back garden spinning as well. Although I need to adjust this front one. So it has worked. I think the flow is a little weak for the for this one, so I may just have to stand that sprinkler up. But very pleased overall with how it's done. Just a little bit of adjustment, so both came on perfectly. We'll test again tomorrow. Oh, kicking up and go from there. So yeah, success on that orbit timer. Um, for watering while we're out of town. Great. Hey guys, so we're back from vacation and the watering system worked like a champ. And I know that because my brother actually ended up staying at her house. Um, so it was perfect and watered every day. Definitely a very inexpensive option to get your garden watered while you're out of town. Uh, so I can't recommend it enough. Five stars. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in.